Hickok 45. Do y'all know Henry Homesteader? I do. And guess what? He takes Glock magazines. <laughs> I'm serious. He really does. Oh yeah, Mr. Cowboy. Have a Glock magazine. How about you, Mr. Gong? Yeah, you take Glock magazines too. What about these pots? Let's pop one of them. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> That's empty. Yes, the Henry Company makes this rifle, Henry Repeating Arms makes this rifle called the Homesteader. Okay, many of you know about it. Many have been requesting uh, us to look at it. So that's what we're doing. We're taking a look. John's been shooting it. Uh, kind of likes it. I kind of like it. I've been shooting it. And, uh, you know, there's probably a lot of negatives we'll think up or dream up. But it's, it's it really is kind of a handy little rifle uh, to have around the homestead. <laughs> and uh, it feels pretty good. It's got good sights on it. It's got excess. Uh, you know, the you know I love the uh, ghost ring type sight like that. I have skinners on so many of my rifles, and they're kind of the same thing. So you get a nice uh, sight picture. Although if it were mine, I would need to paint the front sight. As I was over there trying to put one on the gong, I was kind of losing the black on the black on the gong there a little bit. But uh, yeah, nine millimeter uh, PCC. Pistol caliber carbine. It's a carbine, length 36 inches, and it fires a pistol caliber, right? But it is a rifle, I guess, technically, right? So it's still a 9mm rifle. And uh, borrowed this, guess from whom? Bud's Gun Shop. Really appreciate them helping us out. And uh, got lots of guns in from Bud's lately. And they're a great supporter of the channel. Lots of ammo, firearms, everything you need. We've got, uh, we have, uh, uh, what do you call it, yellow jackets. He's, he's actually on the camera trying to turn it off. Oh, makes me want to shoot him. All right, well, John has to be a trooper. Flip him off on me. <laughs> but uh, that's what you get in the fall around here. And part of it's because we keep feeding them, right? Although it poisons them, I think, like it does us. The stuff in those bottles, yeah, believe it or not. So we appreciate Buds and SilencerCentral.com. Make it really simple to buy a suppressor and get it to your door when you're approved. Uh, great people work there. Man, they're so helpful. And uh, we're going to put a banish maybe on this today. Hey, how about that? Because it has a threaded barrel. Pretty cool. So uh, I was just shooting standard 124 grain ammo there, and I might shoot a little more. It, it does take Glock mags. I was not joking. Yeah, I really was. <laughs> I also want to thank uh, SDI.edu, the Sonoran Desert Institute. Great place to get some distance learning in uh, gunsmithing, firearms technology. Just go online, check them out at SDI.edu. They have lots of programs of study. We'll take GI Bill. A lot of you are taking classes there and you tell me about it. it sounds pretty interesting. So uh, check them out, would you? Appreciate their support. And uh, I don't know, I'm going to work on this thing maybe once I get my degree, you think? Now, I do have this extender on like I always do. Okay, it's just an extender. It's 9 millimeter, so I'm not trying to uh, absorb a massive amount of recoil. Okay, not that I have felt yet. It is blowback. You get a little more recoil with a blowback. But most of these pistol caliber carbines, I suppose, are blowback, right? Uh, it seems like not all, but some are. Many are. Okay, yeah, let's take a couple more shots with it. It's uh, not a bad looking rifle. You know, the, the receiver is anodized aluminum, uh, frame at 7075, just like what ARs are made with. So it's, you know, high quality aluminum alloy. And uh, it, it comes with different uh, inserts, mag wells for, let's see, the M&P, SIG, or Glock. So this one had the Glock insert. I guess you could get the other inserts or mag wells and uh, you could really be combat ready you could take any magazine out there couldn't you so uh blocks are good for me because i have a lot of glock magazines so take a couple shots with it and uh it feels pretty good and uh you know i like the ambi safety there uh it's got an ambi uh bolt lock right here on either side a little bit like a 
Ruger 1022 or something. And uh, you can reverse the bolt handle. I put it on the left side, it came from the right. And you literally just pull it out and then push it in. So there's no tools required for that. All right, no tools required to blow up a two liter, except you do need to take the safety off. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I think I'm in the mood to do some real hunting. If I know where to hold. All right. Oh boy, what a hunting machine. Let's just hunt that red plate over there on the left. Good feel. That's a good feel. Yeah, cowboy, I'm not going to neglect you. And let's smoke that last pot. Yeah. <laughs> you notice it hits pretty hard with 9mm. Why? Because you got a longer barrel, you're getting a little extra power there, aren't you? Sweet. Nothing like a, uh, oh, had a malfunction. That was, good. that was funny, I was going to quit anyway on that shot. Put the safety on. Uh, I don't know how old that mag is, but anyway. Uh, so, uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, they, uh, speaking of recoil, they do have a, uh, oh, some kind of, uh, reciprocating mass they call it I haven't looked at it and under the uh, the forearm here and it's so uh, it helps mitigate I don't know some of the rear movement and uh, you know with, with some um, blowback actions you do get kind of a punch with it even a nine millimeter it doesn't hurt but I mean you, you get kind of a punch so I, I don't feel that as much with this maybe that that does help a little bit so you get nice black or yeah I guess it's black walnut but it's American walnut and uh, I'm not sure what else, uh, let's see, material-wise, like I said, now I'm, I guess I'm not going to take, take it apart. Uh, you knock these three pins out, I've done that a couple of times, and then uh, you just pull down on this uh, stock and it slides out and then the mag wheel comes out, trigger mechanism, it's not hard to break, and then you can take the bolt out if you want to and uh, clean that, whatever, so it's pretty simple to break down, but you have to punch those three pins out. And uh, as I understand, they go in and out either way. I just do it from the right side, and it's worked fine. And, uh, you know, pretty versatile little little, little rifle. Uh, again, pretty cool for the homestead. Are we ready to, to reduce the noise uh, factor a little bit? You want to? All right, as always, yeah, make sure that thing is. You see any bullets in there, people? I don't think you do, do you? So, take this off. Thread protector. Uh, excess sights i mentioned that i think uh, pretty nifty i think this is henry's first semi-automatic firearm right and uh kind of a new thing for them but uh you know but it, you know you still have kind of a traditional look uh, i think it might be a while before we see a black rifle like an ar come out of henry <laughs> maybe not who knows who knows kimber started making revolvers a few years back right so we got the Banish 45 on there. And before I shoot it, I want to thank Alabama Holster. Uh, I have a couple on me. I got my phone in one, my quick draw phone. And <laughs> I've really gotten used to that and I, I like it. And uh, pocket holsters, belt holsters, purse holsters. They make a, a great line of uh, Kydex concealment holsters. They really do. I have several and I use them a lot. I think my favorite of all of them is my purse holster. Yep. So. Let's shoot a little, uh, we're shooting standard 124 grain ammo there. Uh, this is some Steinel that's, uh, let's see, it's 100, yeah, 147 grain. Okay, subsonic, 920 feet per second. Ask your science teacher, now, is that subsonic? So, shoot a little bit of this. All right. Just for fun. Okay. So it is nice when these things have threaded barrels. It adds to the fun factor, doesn't it? Should I put my ears on? I don't think I need my ears. 
Let's try that again. Let's put a few on that rascal. All right. Boop. <laughs> How about some of those animals over there? That turkey on the top row is bothering me. Wow. Boy, oh, he's strong, isn't he? Didn't even knock him over that first hit. How about that hanging buffalo? Oh, it's going. I was holding in the wrong place. That'll do it every time. That'll make you miss. That red plate over there. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. What needs to be shot right here? How about those uh, swing around arms there? See, uh, to me that illustrates again a rifle barrel, even though that's subsonic ammo, just coming out of a longer barrel gives you more punch. Now if this is the first shooting video you've ever seen, wow, you're in trouble. You start out with, with us, but but uh, you may not know what I'm talking about there. But if you've been watching uh, some of our videos, you, you know what uh, the reaction is on the uh, the tree there when you shoot with a 9mm pistol or 45, 44, you know, kind of get a feel for how much power something has uh, just from the way it hits that and turns them. Uh, so what else uh, do I want to shoot? That cowboy needs a hit. Yeah, there's pins. Let's just knock those off. <laughs> Sweet. Knock them around. I'll tell you what. Yeah, we're going to run out of ammo. Anything else you want to know about it? I'll shoot a couple more uh, quiet rounds. So this, this is the Banish 45. Uh, have on there and when you're putting a suppressor on you, you just want to make sure you've got the uh, <laughs> You want the the caliber of the suppressor. Do we talk about suppressors in terms of caliber? I guess we do right you want the hole in the suppressor To be at least as big as your bore right a little bit bigger right? and so uh, that is suitable for a 45 30 caliber, you know a uh, uh, 36 caliber, nine millimeter, whatever, you know, that kind of thing. So you just want to make sure of that. So the Banish 45, we, we use it on a lot of different firearms. So yeah, this is a interesting rifle. I like it more than I thought. Y'all have been requesting this and uh, I don't know, it seems like for a long time actually. And uh, I got it in from Buds and I really wasn't planning to, to like it, but I kind of do. I have to say, I, in, term, in terms of negatives, I don't know. Uh, maybe a bigger bolt handle would be nice, a little bit longer. Uh, takes Glock magazines. You can't hate that, can you? You know, for, for I mean, it's just kind of a little bit of a different animal when you think of the the modern pistol caliber carbines. You don't you don't think of one looking like a grandpa's rifle, do you? Uh, maybe that's a good thing. Yeah. I'll take a couple more. There's some Syntec here. Try some of that. And then may not shoot them all. But uh, I just want to shoot a couple more. Got to shoot something. Got ammo loaded. Right? That buffalo wasn't, uh, was giving me a hard time over there. Something popping. Okay, if I hold in the right place, it hits him. I had a, the, when I first tried this ammo, the Syntec, it uh, malfunctioned or it just, it locked the bolt back on me a couple of times the first time I fired it. But, but John's fired some before we started here and it did fine. And you know, we'll see, uh, I'm going to shoot that buffalo up there on the right. He won't fall, but I'm going to shoot him anyway. <laughs> what would I tell you? The ram won't fall either. <laughs> but they're fun to plink at either way. Oh man, oh, here's a pig on the left will fall. If I hit him, if I hit him that is. <laughs> okay, what's left here to be shot at? Uh, I've got some plates down here. <laughs> Lots of fun. <laughs> 
Okay, it did that. It's locked back. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's not quite enough power to, uh, well, enough power to lock the bolt back. I want that. I'm trying to think about the physics of that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the mechanism well enough on this. When you gunsmiths, uh, give us your opinion. Here we go. See, it did it again with that. So maybe it's when it gets a little dirty. I don't know. But it doesn't hang up. It doesn't like on the feed ramp or anything like that. So, so anyway, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. But, you know, a couple of issues, I guess. Uh, but not really with. Uh, did we with full power ammo and just the regular plinking? Yeah, when we got into a little suppressed action, I guess we had a couple of times maybe it, it acted up. I mean, I don't know if these mags are getting old and weak spring or if that's any of it or not. I don't know. I don't want to blame it on the gun. I don't want to blame it on the mags. I'll just blame it on me. Could be all of the above, right? But uh, pretty cool little rifle. Uh, it just seems to, to crank on uh that was yeah standard stuff there I see a couple of those this, now this is not going to be suppressed too much but let's just try a couple of these. <laughs> empty the mag maybe i think it's about empty well, let's see well it should be hearing safe yeah empty yeah i think if you got full powder ammo you're definitely not gonna have an issue so anyway pretty cool uh Let's put the mag back in. It looks better, right? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, there you go. Uh, how many of y'all have these? I, a lot of you requested uh, videos on them, so some of you must have these. Uh, what kind of uh, uh, service are you getting out of it? you have any issues with it? Uh, how do you like it? Uh, it seems, yeah, pretty cool to me. Uh, you know, are, you, are you having uh, a lot of malfunctions? Uh, again, I think any that we've had has been with like lighter ammo uh, so, so I, I don't know what's your experience with your Henry Homesteader and let us know if your name is actually Henry Homesteader there may be someone out there actually watching the video living somewhere in Idaho or Montana or Tennessee whose name is Henry and your last name is Homesteader and if that is your name, did you buy one of these? I just sort of like to know. <laughs> Getting silly, huh? I'm going to let you go. I'm glad you came out and uh, yeah, helped us shoot the Henry Homesteader. Did I mention Wideners? I don't think I did thank them, uh, our ammo supplier. That's why we have uh, a variety of ammo, wideners.com. Uh, check them out. Look in the description. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a nice discount there uh, to order some, wideners.com. So... Appreciate you coming around and hope you do it again sometime. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it? Uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastall. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastall for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to Ballastall.com, TalonGunGrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.